Oh, hey there. Oh, 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 oh. How are you doing? Today I will show you how to play um, Prune You Talk Funny by Gus Depperton. This song was requested by all these people. Thank you all so much for your comments. And first I want to give a special thank you to Mackenzie for his donation to my paper. Thank you so much for supporting me in this way. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah, as I said, I'm going to show you how to play the song. First I will show you the chords and then also Afterwards, I will explain to you some more difficult chords and also the strumming pattern and also a way to get a bit creative with it. Some small add-ons to the chord, really. So it won't be too much of a long video. Oh yeah, and also, I'm sorry my uploading schedule was a bit odd and weird, but I also, also said it in my last video. I had exams and I was also sick, so it wasn't all going to... It wasn't really all going according to plan. But yeah, now I'm feeling better and my exams are over, so... Now I will get back on my regular schedule and I think I have some quite much requested videos coming up soon uh, and I hope you enjoy those. So yeah, let's hop into the song. I hope everything will be clear and don't forget to check out my social media stuff in the description and feel free to suggest a new song also. I hope to see you after I play the song. So the song is just in standard tuning and no capo or anything so we can go directly into the chords. <laughs> So as you could see that's how to play the chords, a lot of barre chords, nothing 
weird. There may be one chord that might be a bit difficult as this one. You just have to practice it a few times. Uh, and that's really all I can say about it. Uh, just, just take some time and practice it without playing the song and I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Then I would also like to explain the strumming pattern a bit because it's not too difficult and repeats itself almost really the whole song. So I thought it would be nice to explain to you that one as well. And I'm not too good at that as you know, but I will play it slowly. You can look at my right hand and I'll explain. Yeah, I'll just play it slowly, really. This is for the intro, but most of the song is this strumming pattern. So if you can play the strumming pattern of the intro, you can really play the rest of it. So. Like that. And that's for really for every chord. a bit faster and then I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. There's also two things about the chords that I would like to explain to you a bit. Sometimes in live version, uh, especially or when Gus Depton's playing live, he sometimes does this. When he's playing the D sharp minor 7, D sharp minor, he sometimes goes from the D sharp minor 7 quickly to the D sharp minor. But you don't need to do that, I think, for the studio version, but it's a nice thing to add when you're playing. You can play it other times as well when you're playing a D sharp minor. Um, there's something nice, and also sometimes when uh, Gus Depton's playing a minor 7 chord uh, over here, he sometimes adds also his pinky to the, to the yeah, using the 7th note to add another 7th. So you go instead of he goes and that's something that you can add that or not because uh, it's adding another 7 to the chord because there's already a minor 7 in the minor 7 chord of course it's over here the G sharp and you can play really a double yeah, you can you can play the G sharp also over here, so it it puts a bit of bigger accent on the um, seventh note, but that's only up to you. you. It makes it a little bit a higher chord if that's a sense for if that makes sense. Instead of it's the same chord, just a little bit of different sound, but you can play around with that whatever you like the most. Oh, and it also might be uh, well. But might be good to notice is that when he's going from the B major 7 to the D sharp minor 7 you can see you almost have to do nothing to do that you get it you only have to place your uh, index finger to a different place When it's, I think it's a pre-chorus when it happens, but yeah, there's something to notice as well. So yeah, that's really everything I wanted to tell you about the chords and the strumming pattern. So yeah, that's how to play the video. I hope everything was to play the video. That's how to play the song, of course. <laughs> I hope everything was clear. Um, feel free to suggest a new song again. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. And I hope to see you the next time. Thank you so much for watching.